Pasquale's eye on the arts. Here we are in Pasadena at the Professional Photographers of California's convention. It's pretty amazing to see the progress photographers have made. And now I had the opportunity through our Living Museum of Artography and Assemblage to honor some of these great photographers and bring in some of them to be part of our living museum of artography and assemblage. Photography is the art of how you see life. Photography is headed in the new direction of becoming artists. We are artists, we'll continue to be artists, and we need to teach and learn more of the artistry of how to get our prints to that level. Let's have an interview with the man of the light, the man that's given photography such an important generation of education and positiveness for our photographers. Hello, I'm George Larson. Yes, I am the inventor of the softbox, SOFT and SOFF, and many other photographic products. I started my business in about 1963. That was the year that I got my first patent, which was the reflector saw. And it was a flat reflector, which we still make today. I was photographing my daughter and I didn't like the light that was reflecting off the side of the garage into the sand pile where she was eating a dirty hamburger. So I went in the house and I put some crinkled aluminum foil on a piece of cardboard and had my wife come out and fill the shadow side. I realized then that I thought that was a darn good idea. So what I decided to do is I, I bought an umbrella, a regular umbrella, and I was able to just break those ribs and sew a piece of, uh, of mylar fabric onto a regular rain umbrella that I made square and I made it go flat and I knew I had a reflector for photography and that's how it started, making the square reflector saw that we still make today. And then I went into other products. Famous photographers that have been on my advisory board through the years, Monty Zucker, Leon Kenimer, Peter Gallen, Bill Cheris, Pasquale. Well, I tell them right off the bat, of course, that I, I think if they really want to be a great photographer, they need to learn how to study light to begin with. It isn't just buying a fancy camera and a, a, a strobe on top. The first thing they need to do is to learn how to light the subject properly. I, I really think digital is wonderful. Uh, it, it's a modern way to go. It's a gift. But what I want to do, do right now is be a teacher and find people that will associate with me to really teach people the importance of light. In the early days in film, we used to say, get it on the negative. It's the same now, but get it on the card. But before you go to Photoshop, and Photoshop's wonderful, try to do the best you can, or do the best you can with your lights, and then go from it, and you'll be a better photographer. And that's what I want to teach. Be innovative. And not only be innovative, but make it quality. Make it last. Make it something that when people take it to the studio, they probably say, I'm a legacy owner. And do the right photography with that. And it's time for photographers to really appreciate the lighting that they do because it originally came from Rembrandt, Van Gogh, the different lighting patterns, all yeah, of that stuff. So when that. you came into the lighting profession, 
they didn't have this kind of lighting. They did not. And you are the master of the light. That's quite and a compliment. May God bless you and continue doing all these things. And thank, thank you. you so much for coming back into our industry. We have chosen number one photographic artist from this convention, and it's Bill Thomas. Bill Thomas is a PV, PPC Invitational Gallery exhibit of all the works you see. I was for 50 years a bread and butter photographer where I had to make, I couldn't make those, those choices of being the artistic part of it. And that's happened the last five years since I retired from my photography business. And I've had a lot of friends close by that have helped me uh, develop what you see here. And, I, and my, between myself and my wife, my wife does all of the uh, Photoshop work for me. We're learning lots and lots and lots at this age. I've been putting the convention on for 25 years. I've been the main part of it all these 25 years. The last four years, uh, we took, got somebody to actually handle the programming part of it, and I still handle the trade show. And I do it because I love it. And I get to meet the best photographers in the world, and I get to see the newest equipment in the world. My name is Brad Levin. Uh, I work at the Levin Company. We've been around for 91 years. And uh, I started back in uh, 1992. And uh, in 1992, we started the custom molding department because there was a need for customized sizes. Uh, before then, there was ready-made sizes, so it was difficult to get different sizes. So what we do is bought a saw, bought a joiner, and uh, we're able to create any size that the photographer needed or the artist. Right now, we're really going toward a lot of technology to make it easier for photographers and artists to upload their image, put a frame around it, uh, and make that as streamlined as possible um, because we want the photographers to concentrate on photography and not trying to go through uh, a lot of technology uh, to get their product out. So it's basically technology. Well, we definitely, we always, we, we never want to overpower the art. We always want to complement the artwork and, uh, and, and marry them together so they definitely complement each other. And uh, we appreciate everything that you guys are doing uh, for artography, and uh, we look forward to working with you. The way we, we the way we started, the owner of our company is a gentleman by the name of Wayne Wayne Hobb, and he started many many years ago with his brother in the Kansas City, Missouri area, uh, where they were pursuing the school picture business, and they had a small studio. Color film was starting to interact in the marketplace. Mr. Hobb bought uh, a processor and a printer, and the, the term H and H Color Lab developed. Well, I see a very diverse, continued diversity of, of the marketplace, uh, in the sense that uh, a lot of a lot of people are in the photography business today. We think the idea that being able to be very diverse in product mediums. You know, one of the concerns that we have as a lab uh, is is that folks will only use a, a digital world to show their imagery. Uh, but most labs today, and especially h and we work very hard to use a variety of mediums, whether that be metal, whether that be photographic paper, whether that be press, whether that be a real black and white paper with black and white process, uh, all kinds of different mediums to print, banners, wall clings, all kinds of products to, to be able to put images uh, in a medium that can be shown on a wall or hung or whatever it may be. We have worked over the years with our, all kinds of artists and, and folks that, that have different ways, whether they sell their, their photography to their customer as, as photographic art, um, or there are organizations that use galleries and buy products, um, some of our float mounts, some of our uh, standout mounts, products, and photographs that can go on the wall for special display that look very classy, look very professional, uh, and, and obviously the artist can then use his or her creative skill 
to be able to put them on some medium that they can hang on a wall, they can hang from the ceiling to really display their creativity. Professional photography is not a secret society. If you ask people, they'll tell you. And I've always said, if, somebody, if you ask somebody how they do that or how they can do it, and they say, well, I can't really tell you because that's my way of doing it, my secret, whatever. I'll, I'll show you an inse insecure photographer. Exactly. If, if they can't tell you how they do it, they really don't know what they're doing. I'm seeing a lot of stuff that's blown out and out of focus, which is now art. And 20, 30 years ago, that would have been thrown out. I remember art directors, you know, they, they wouldn't have even entertained it. So it's, it's a changing all the time. I think one of the fun things is, is the iPhone. Exactly. Because the iPhone, you've always got it with you. You can let your creativity just run riot. And you can do so much with it. I enjoy it. Uh, there's, there's stuff that I don't understand, but that's always happened. No matter what gallery you go to, you can stand back and you can look at it and say, well, I guess it means something to someone, but it doesn't touch me. Other times you go up and say, this really, really touches me. And the next person next to you say, well, what do you see in it? So it's totally in the eye of the beholder. And you look at them, you see, you just go past Bay Photo, you look at how you can exhibit your work now. Garner, the just, you know, the old 16 by 20 glass frame. So many, you know, standouts, bamboo backings, the, uh, the canvas wraps. It's just amazing what you can use to make your work stand out even more. Thanks, Jim, have fun. Thank you very much. Continue to art for your life. Pasquale's eye on the arts. We'll make you soar like an eagle on a windy day. Dance with wolves as they run and away. See the sunshine when there's none to see. And be in love with your humanity. It's love.